Why use big subwoofers for home theater? I see a lot of people in the home theater world mostly using bigger subwoofers. There are still a lot of home theaters out there that use 12s or 10s or even 8s as their subwoofers for home theater. But I see a lot of people going for 15s or 18s or even 21 inches or even bigger. But why do people go for such big subs when in the car audio world, 12 inch subs are the most popular size option. And a lot of people even go for smaller subs like 10s or 8s in the car audio world. The first difference between bigger subs and smaller subs is that a bigger sub of the same class is going to have a lower FS or a lower resonant frequency. So that means it's going to be easier to play them lower frequencies compared to the smaller sub. Not saying that the smaller sub can't play them lower frequencies, but since the bigger sub has a lower FS, it's just going to be easier to achieve them lower frequencies. But why is it better if it hits them lower frequencies? A lot of movies have them big booms or explosions. And a lot of times those can go very deep and even reaching below 20 Hertz. And that's very deep, but it's very rare where you're going to see an eight inch sub play below 20 Hertz with a lot of output, but for a bigger sub, it's just easier. Bigger subwoofers also have better sensitivity compared to smaller subwoofers, which basically means the smaller subwoofer will need to take more power to get the same volume as the bigger subwoofer. So you don't need as much power for a bigger subwoofer to get loud. So if you're on a budget and you're looking for a high output system, then maybe instead of buying a bunch of smaller subwoofers, you can buy a couple of bigger subwoofers because less bigger subwoofers are actually needed because whenever you have bigger subwoofers, less of them are actually needed needed to get similar output as a bunch of smaller subwoofers. Bigger subs also provide a better tactile experience. You really start getting that tactile feel once you start playing in the 20s and especially once you get down into the teens. But for a smaller sub, it's just not going to have the same output, especially for the lower frequencies compared to a bigger sub. So you're not going to get as much tactile feel. And in my opinion, getting that tactile feel just adds so much more to the experience. Multiple smaller subs could definitely do it, but whenever you buy less bigger subs, it actually saves you more money in the long run because two 12 inch subs in the same category as my 18 will actually end up costing more than a single 18. So if you know that a single smaller sub isn't gonna be enough, and if you plan to buy more smaller subs, then you may wanna look into buying bigger subs, especially if you have the space. The last reason why bigger subs are better than smaller subs for home theater use is that bigger subs generally can take more power and they also get louder. So not only are you gaining from having more cone area, which doesn't need as much power to get loud, but you're also getting the ability to put more power to your sub Woofer. So a bigger sub could have a lot more output than a smaller sub. And this is why I use bigger subs myself. Because for the output that I have, I'm going to end up saving money in the long run because I don't need to buy as much subwoofers and I don't need as much power. And I'm really happy with the response that I get out of my bigger subs. So if you just want a subwoofer that can handle everything you throw at it, then maybe you should look into buying a bigger and more powerful sub. It looks like you guys made it to the end of the video. I appreciate you all for watching. Hopefully you all learned something new today and I'll see you all in the next video.